caught a mother's Facebook post raising alarming questions about her child's daycare. Images show children being driven in a car without seat belts or car seats. The mother tells us her friend happened to be in the same park when she noticed these three year olds playing unattended. And when she went to talk to the adults in the car, they gathered the kids and drove off. That mother tells the WBTV her daughter and these other three year olds were supposed to be at Midwood Learning Academy during this trip to the park. Our Cam Gaskins joins us live now after speaking with that mom and digging more into this daycare center. So Cam, what did you learn? Yeah, Molly, I learned that just within the last two years, this daycare center was cited by the state for child maltreatment, which makes those images you saw of those kids in the back seat even more concerning. Now, the mother I spoke with tonight did not want her name or face shown on TV, but she wanted to get her story out as a wake up call for other parents to make sure that you know what is happening to your child when you drop them off at daycare. It's all new at 11. It's like bone chilling to me. That is how this mother describes her reaction after a friend sent her this video. This mother says that is her daughter thrown across the laps of other three year olds without seat belts or car seats as this car drives off. All while these kids were supposed to be in daycare. She tells me her daughter has gone to Midwood Learning Academy for the last three years. And hearing that her daughter and classmates were left unattended at a playground and transported like this in a car was a shock. It just makes you question everything and it makes me like very seriously question the environment she's been in. And according to the North Carolina Department of Health and Human Services, this child care facility has received numerous violations within the last three years. Most notably, a visit from August of 2022, which found that children were not adequately supervised at all times, including an instance where a one-year-old child was able to leave the facility and gain access to the parking area for an unknown period of time. This same visit also determined that there was not a safe indoor and outdoor environment for the children, all of which led the Child Development and Early Education Department to identify this as child maltreatment. It is my opinion that they should not be allowed to care for other children. And this mother is hopeful that after yesterday's incident, something is done. Well, I just hope that action is taken so that no other um, kids are put in danger. And it's also worth noting that this mother says her infant child is also enrolled at this daycare. She says she pulled both of her children out yesterday and they will not be returning. Now we have reached out to Midwood Learning Academy multiple times over the last two days through both phone and email. And at this time we have not gotten any responses to our questions. We'll be sure to keep you updated if and when we hear back. Reporting live in Charlotte, I'm Cam Gaskins, WBTV on your side. We know you'll keep asking, Cam, so scary for that mom. Thank